How to make a parametric dining table, kitchen table in Revit. Let's start. Open the Revit. Open a new family. <coughs> Select metric furniture. Okay, let's change the scale to 1 is to 10. Select reference plane, create a vertical reference plane, select mirror, dimension, okay, make it equal, dimension, select the dimension, create new parameter, type width, okay. Next, create reference plane. Select reference plane. Mirror. Then dimension. Make it equal. Dimension. Select the dimension and create new parameter. Type def. OK. Next, go to front elevation. Change the scale to 1 is to 10. Select reference plane. Draw a reference plane. Dimension. Select the dimension. Create new parameter. Type height. OK. Then select this reference plane, copy 50 millimeter <coughs> dimension, select the dimension, create new parameter, and name it table top mm, thickness. Okay. Then go to reference level. Let's create the tabletop. Select the extrusion. Select rectangle. Draw a rectangle. Align. Select reference plane. Select the line. Lock. Okay. Select. Select the line. Lock. Select reference plane. Select the line. Lock. Finish the extrusion, go to front elevation, move the arrow, then align, select reference plane, select the top edge, select the reference plane, select the bottom edge. Okay. <coughs> Next, go to family types, let's move the parameter up. Okay, let's change the width to 2000, the depth to 1000 millimeter, and height 750 millimeter. Okay, apply. Okay. Next, go to reference level, select this reference plane, copy 50 millimeter. Select reference plane, mirror, then dimension, okay, select the two reference plane, okay, select the dimension, create new parameter, let's name this leg width, okay, select the dimension, Label, select the leg width. <coughs> okay, next, let's create an extrusion for the leg. Select the rectangle, draw a rectangle, finish the extrusion. Okay, let's align. Select this reference plane, select the edge, lock. Select this reference plane, select the edge, lock. 
select the reference plane select the edge lock ok go to front elevation select the extrusion move the arrow to the reference plane and lock ok let's do the right leg let's create an extrusion draw a rectangle ok we can align the line select the reference plane select the line lock ok ok select reference plane select the line lock select reference plane select the line lock finish go to front elevation align select reference plane select the top edge lock ok next go to reference level select the two reference plane copy 100 millimeter ok dimension ok select the dimension create new parameter let's name this metal leg offset 1 ok then select this to reference plane copy 100 millimeter ok dimension select this to reference plane select the dimension then select the metal leg offset 1 then dimension select this two reference plane dimension select the two reference plane ok select the dimension and select the leg width select and select the leg width ok next select this reference plane copy 10 millimeter ok then select mirror ok then dimension ok select the dimension create new parameter let's name this metal leg offset 2 ok then dimension select this two reference plane select the dimension and select the metal leg offset 2 ok next let's create the metal leg select extrusion <coughs> select rectangle ok let's draw a rectangle then align <coughs> let's align the rectangle select this reference plane select this line and lock ok select select lock select select lock select reference plane select the line lock ok then let's create a reference plane dimension select the dimension go to label and select the or let's create a new parameter type leg thickness okay 
then align select this reference plane select the top edge lock okay go to family types leg thickness change it to 10 millimeter let's move this let's move the parameter down the width move up depth move and the height move up okay leg width let's move the parameter down the top thickness move up okay metal leg okay next okay go to reference level okay select this reference plane copy 10 millimeter okay dimension select the dimension and select the leg thickness okay select this reference plane copy 10 millimeter dimension okay select and select the leg thickness okay let's create an extrusion select the rectangle okay let's draw a two rectangle one here and one here <coughs> align okay select the reference plane select the line lock okay select select the line lock <coughs> Select reference plane, select the line, lock. Okay. Then finish the extrusion. Go to front elevation. Okay. Align, select this reference plane, select this top edge, and lock. Okay, let's check the 3D. Okay, <coughs> select the wireframe. Okay, join. Select this extrusion and this extrusion. Okay. Next, go back to reference level. Let's make a metal leg for the right okay select extrusion rectangle okay let's draw a rectangle a line select select and lock okay select reference plane select the line lock Select the reference plane, select the line, lock. Okay, finish. Go to front. Okay, then align. Select this reference plane. <coughs> select the top edge and lock. Okay, back to reference level select extrusion select the rectangle create a two rectangle okay then align select reference plane select the line lock okay select select and lock 
Okay. Select reference plane. Select the line. Lock. Okay, finish the extrusion, go to front elevation, align, select this reference plane, select the top edge, and lock. Go to 3D, <coughs> then join, join to the two extrusion, okay, for the metal leg, then select realistic, okay. Next, select this tabletop, go to materials and finishes, create new pa parameter, let's name this tabletop finish, okay, okay, next select this table leg, material, select the tabletop finish. Select this table leg, the right table leg, select the tabletop finish. Okay, next, select the metal leg. Let's select the wireframe. Okay, select the metal leg, left and right, materials and finishes. Let's create a new material parameter name it metal leg finish <coughs> okay okay next go back to realistic go to family types let's move this up now let's apply the materials select the tabletop finish okay go to home Select AEC materials, select the wood, and look for the oak white, add, right click and rename to oak white table. Then go to appearance, pick the image. Let's change the rotation to 90 degree. Done. Okay. Apply. Okay, next. Metal leg finish. Go select AEC materials, metal, and select the stainless steel brush. Add rename let's add table okay table leg okay okay next select this table leg go to graphics visible Pick the button, let's create a visibility parameter and name it um, solid leg or solid left or solid leg left on off. Okay. Okay, next select the solid leg right, pick the button, create new parameter, name it solid leg right, on off. Okay. Okay. Next, select the metal leg left. 
Mm okay. Go to graphics, pick the button, create new parameter, name it metal leg left on up. Okay. 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 Select the metal leg right. Go to graphics create new parameter type metal leg right on off okay okay select realistic okay now let's test the parameter Let's change the width to 1,500, the depth to 800 millimeter. Let's change the height to 800. Okay, 750. The width back to 2,000, depth 1,000 millimeter. Okay, let's change the metal leg offset to 400. Okay, back to 100. Then the metal leg offset 2 to 200. Okay, back to 10 millimeter. Table top thickness 100. Okay, then leg uh, leg width let's try 100 okay next back to 50 okay let's uncheck the metal leg okay now let's create a family type Let's name this W or width 2000 by D or as in depth of 1000 by H or height 750 millimeter. Okay. Apply. Okay. Zoom to fit save the family save it to desktop let's name it dining kitchen table save then load into our sample project okay pick select go to edit type let's uncheck the solid and check the metal leg okay okay let's go to level one Okay, let's move this table. Then let's insert some chair. Okay. Select the chair, mirror. Select the center line of the table, select the two chair, mirror, okay, go back to 3D, okay, select the dining table or the table, create similar, okay, pick, select the table, edit type, duplicate, 
let's rename it to 2400 by D600 and height of 950 millimeter okay change the width to 2.4 meters depth 0.6 meters and height 0.95 okay okay let's select again this table edit type let's uncheck metal leg check solid solid leg left okay then align okay select the surface select the surface okay select the side surface select the side surface okay then let's insert the bar stool or some chair okay space tab to rotate okay let's go to level one select the chair okay let's move the chair okay copy okay back to 3d okay done thank you